Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome to this new series on how to build threads from scratch. Uh, let's get right into it actually. We're going to see what we're going to build. So when we first go into the login screen, we're going to use a text verification. Uh, so right now if you put in, we have a test number, but if you were to put in your phone number, uh, you'll get a text message with a code to enter in automatically. And if you don't already have a user in the system, uh, it'll ask you to go create a username. Um, if you already are, have a user, then you'll be logged in. So let's test it out. So we're going to click next and we're going to put in our verification code and then it automatically logs us in. So it's a pretty quick uh, two-step process. And we're going to use Twilio Ver Verify for that. And then we're also going to use Supabase uh, to integrate Twilio Verify to create that user. Um, and then with the whole application, we're going to use React Native and Expo. So once we do log in, we can see it looks and feels exactly like threads. Uh, we'd go around, we could scroll, we could like photos. Um, we could friend people, so we're going to follow people. Uh, we can retweet things, or I guess not retweet, whatever they call it in threads. Um, we could send it to friends, so we could send it to friends. Uh, we could comment. Let's see if this one had any. We just posted that, so it doesn't have any comments. Uh, this one has a comment, so we could see all the comments. We could reply. We could put hello. We could post, so now that's a comment. We're going to go back, and now we can see that post has two comments. Um, we could also search by tags, by users, by places. And if we click on here, we can create a post. So we're going to have access to our photo library. Uh, we can add access to our camera itself. And you can see my coffee. Uh, we can add GIFs. So we're going to integrate with the Giphy API. Uh, we can do voice notes. We can do hashtags. We can do we can, um, tag people. We could do places, so we could do, let's add a GIF real quick. Good morning. And we could go see our post, and we could like our own posts. <laughs> uh, and then we could go ahead, if we want, we could delete our own posts. Uh, and then let's see what else we got. If we go home, we could see all of our recent, the ones we just, the comment we just made. Uh, the post we just put, we can see the places we've been since we put a place on here. We can see everything that we've liked. Um, and then we can do settings, we can sign out. Uh, let's see, we could do follows, messages, mentions, reposts. So we're going to do all of this throughout this whole series. Um, we're going to use a lot of the same libraries we used on how to build TikTok uh, with React Native, Expo, Supervase, uh, GlueStack, uh, GlueStack. UI is similar to Shad CN for the web, but this GlueStack UI is um, formally native based and that allows us to get some of these styles up and running pretty quickly. Obviously, it's not out of the box. Uh, we have to use some of our own icons or so we can integrate with Lucid icons. Uh, we can integrate with React Native SVG. So if you want to use your own icons, you do that as well. And so we're going to do all of this functionality uh, through the next series. So I hope you join me. And see you next time. Peace.